Hey, UConn Nation, it's KK Arnold here. If you're looking for the latest UConn women's basketball content, go subscribe to listen up to Phil and Ryan. Go Huskies. All right, thank you, KK. The last check-in, Ryan. You know how it goes already. Predictions, we'll save them for last. We appreciate everyone joining us this late on a Friday night. And if not, hopefully you catch it Saturday morning. Ryan, a big matchup. And in the quote of you, a game that we'll be going to. That's what you said for Maryland and Connecticut. So it rolls around again as we find ourselves uh, going down to see the UConn Huskies. We didn't think we would see them a second time this season. So very blessed to say that. None the least. Um, a lot to talk about in this last check-in against Georgetown on Sunday. I believe what, Ryan? one thirty at the Entertainment and Sports Arena, I believe it's called. And that's the home of the Washington Mystics in dc so with that said ryan um please if you haven't already please subscribe to the video uh, not to the video to the channel rather and like the video a like goes a long way we really do appreciate it we appreciate all of you all ryan what do you have i mean this team coming in is now they're not ranked so finally it seems like uconn gets a break but my two cents they kind of don't i mean this is a very good georgetown team led by kelsey ransom she leads with about 15 points per game. Ryan, they also have some classy names on this roster, right, that you're used to by now. They have Tegan Flaherty. They have, like I mentioned, Kelsey Ransom. They have Brianna Scott. And then they have one of my favorite all-time uh, players in NCAA action, Grace Ann Bennett. So, Ryan, what do you have for me on this Friday night? Yeah, well, I'm glad we won't have to travel as far to uh, to see the yeah. UConn Huskies this time. So uh, that that's a little bit of a relief, but should be it should be a fun one for sure. Georgetown, like you said, has some fun players to watch and some familiar faces, as does a lot of these Big East teams that UConn will play. Georgetown, twelve and two, two and one in Big East play so far, and have a three game win streak. UConn, of course, 11 and three, undefeated in Big East plays so far, and have won seven games in a row. Huskies did not go back to uh, to, to stores, as you mentioned in the game recap after their game in Omaha. They actually had been in DC, kind of visiting the city, touring around. Uh, and preparing for Georgetown. But this is one of the best starts for the Hoyas in recent memory, and senior guard Kelsey Ransom is a huge reason why. Leads the team in points, assists, steals per game. Senior forward Grace Ann Bennett and 6'4 forward Brianna Scott have also been having pretty solid seasons. The Hoyas as a team, however, they don't, they've kind of been struggling uh, to score the basketball in, in most of their games. I'm really expecting UConn to just continue to keep dominating, uh, just like they did against Marquette and Creighton. Really expecting to see an increase in minutes uh, because of the Aubrey Griffin injury for Caden Samuels. Uh, still haven't seen an update on Aubrey yet. Um, and depending on what the score is in the fourth quarter, Amari and Ness, Ice Brady may all have increased minutes for this game. So we'll have to see how the game goes. Um, but I'm kind of <laughs> expecting another blowout for UConn. Don't really think this one's going to be close. Um, j just the way UConn's playing right now. Just don't think Georgetown has quite enough to keep up with the Huskies. Yeah, um, it's important to remember, I see here, uh, interim head coach uh, Darnell Haney for the Georgetown University women's basketball team. Um, so I saw that their coach, Tasha Butts announced the addition of Darnell Haney to the 23-24 women's basketball staff. So we're excited to see him with Georgetown, Ryan, and what he brings along with all of these coaches, what they bring to the table against UConn. When you talk about shutting down Georgetown, because you mentioned that let's go back to the scoreboard here, scoreboard here rather, and I have where they've won the pa their past three games. Um, so their last loss was against Seton Hall is what I'm seeing. When you talk about Georgetown, I mean they have they're they're capable of putting up big numbers. I see here they put up 80, 82 against Northwestern. Um, again, though, we don't take any team lightly. But when you talk about UConn, uh, what do they do to keep the ball rolling? Rather, because again, you've seen now. I'm not saying that they're familiar with it. it's the first time they played Georgetown this season, but 
what do you do if you're Gino? You know, do you keep obviously the same starting lineup? We've seen that roll out for a while now. What else do you do, Ryan, to keep the ball rolling? And of course, we didn't hear, I don't know if you have any update on Aubrey Griffin. I never heard anything yet. Um, I guess all eyes might be on Aaliyah Edwards. Uh, but then again, what happens as you progress into the game on Sunday? Because yeah, now, as we know, one of the key pieces is a uh, missing as far as as far we assume that she's going to be missing, and that's Griffin on Sunday. Yeah, still no update on Aubrey yet. But yeah, I mean, you know, UConn finally found that they're starting five. It took a little while, but Gino finally found that the right fit for all five of those players. So uh, this starting lineup has been playing really well together during this win streak, that's for sure. And I, I think most of these games, it really starts with their defense. And Aubrey is a big part of that coming off the bench. So hopefully uh, Cadence and, and a couple other players, Ice Brady, coming off the bench can kind of make up for that and fill in fill in the role that, that kind of Aubrey played for this team. But I, I think it's going to continue to start mostly with the defense and just UConn continuing to um, to outplay some of these teams as the game goes into the second half and the and the fourth quarter. Um, we're, we're really starting to see UConn kind of pull away from most of these teams as the game progresses, which is good to see. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, I, like I said, I think it continues with the defense and their offense has really been blossoming. Everybody's been shooting the ball really good. So, like I've been saying, it, with as much momentum UConn has right now, it's uh, it's hard to find any negatives or anything that they're really doing wrong during this whole entire uh, winning streak. Yeah, you know, I always love to shout out to locals on this podcast. Uh, since we are coming from Maryland, Alex Cowan, Ryan, the uh, 5'7 guard, graduate student uh, for Georgetown, will come into this matchup, and she is a Bowie, Maryland native. So I want to shout out to her, Ryan. She went to St. John's college high school um and she will be uh, at sports and entertainment arena on sunday let's go ahead uh head on over to comments here ryan gateway to the win the last episode that we had uh, the big win right big win uconn hence creating largest loss in 25 seasons let's go over to it's boy oh boy it's hard to find any comments without Aubrey Griffin's name in it. Let's go over to Jason D'Amico, one of our regulars. It's not just the UConn players. Uh, it's not just that UConn players get hurt. It's the type of injuries that they are sustaining that make it so frustrating. This injury just might end Aubrey's college career, and one cannot help but suffer that loss for this UConn team. I hope for the best, but I am not sure this UConn team can make it through March Madness without her. As good as our freshmen are, I'm not sure they will be ready to carry the weight of March madness pressure. We shall see. Peace. Oh, my goodness. Come on, Jason. You know, Ryan, hopefully you have something to lift my spirits up on this Friday night. Yeah, it's it's a good point, too, because it seems like all these injuries are just season enders, and it's really a shame. It's disappointing. It's frustrating. <laughs> Like Jason said, uh, you know, n none of these injuries can just be, you know, somebody's out a, a week or two. It has to be season ending, w which is pretty devastating for all of us and especially the, the players in the team. But, uh, you know, I, I think UConn kind of has the mindset that even if they had five players out on the court and, and they only have five players available, I think that they believe they can win any s single game. Um, it it kind of seems like they have their confidence back right now, which is good to see. So uh, I, I think the team's really confident in themselves, and they'll definitely go, go – they won't go down without a fight when it, when it comes time to go into March Madness. So I'm still really confident in this team. I know they're confident in themselves, but we'll have to see how, how the rest of the season goes. And, um, but I, I, th I think they'll definitely be ready for – when it comes to, uh, comes comes down to crunch time in March Madness. All right, how about one more, Ryan? Uh, let's go over to Stevie Kinsey goes to say I'm devastated for Aubrey is an understatement. It didn't look good. She will likely be out for the rest of the season. It's a shame. The Huskies' defense was on point tonight. Creighton scored way less points than I expected. I hope this game 
gave Ice some confidence. We will need her rebounding contributions, especially if Aubrey is out for the season. Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, Ice is, is definitely one of those players who's going to have to step up, probably re receive more minutes as well. And, you know, uh, not only for making up for when Aaliyah is on the bench, but now now that Aubrey's miss, missing. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, Ice has really gained confidence as the season has went along. I think she kind of started out slow. But these past couple games, along with everybody else, I think Ice has definitely – been one of those players that's made a big leap uh you know missing last season was definitely pretty tough for her I, i'd imagine but i think she's done a pretty good job adjusting to this season and, and getting better as, as the season's gone along all right sorry if i've been saying i think i was saying sports and entertainment it's entertainment and sports arena okay so that's the official name ryan so predictions let's land our predictions flat out on the floor right in that arena we can't wait to step inside on sunday and watch the yukon huskies you and i will be i heard that what we got word that we'll be about i, I think possibly five or six rows behind the yukon bench so again please stop by and say hello anybody that's traveling for the game we would love to see Georgetown fans, meet Georgetown fans and UConn fans, right, Ryan? We'd like to meet everybody. All right, Ryan, I'm going, let's go uh, 88 to 59. 88 59, UConn all over Georgetown. I think uh, the Hoyas keep it close there for a while in the first. Um, but again, we're starting to see UConn. Uh, progress and you said it right they're starting to build strong leads even before halftime something that we're so used to seeing out of this out of this program for years and years past so ryan again i don't think you see now uh, don't get me wrong we will miss aubrey griffin right but i don't if you want me to tell you the honest truth and i think you're leaning on my side i don't think that we'll really see the major impact just in this game of Aubrey Griffin missing. But don't get me wrong, we will miss her tremendously. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that. I think as the season progresses, definitely uh, as we get later, the, the loss of, of Aubrey will definitely be felt a, a little more. But yeah, like I said, I, that's I think it. Huskies... that's that just cut you off real quick right there. That's if she's out for the season. We don't yeah. know yet. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I think the Huskies continue to dominate in this game. I, I just don't think this one's going to be very close. Similar score for me. I, I'm going to go UConn 95, Georgetown 64. All right, Ryan. We can't wait to see everyone's smiling faces. Entertainment and sports arena. Who would have thought, Ryan, not once, but two times this season, we get to see the UConn Huskies, Paige Beckers and company, in person, taking the floor against this Georgetown team. Ryan, I will see you Oak Drive Southeast, Washington, D.C. on Sunday. Phil and Rye on Listen Up.